Hello guys, today in this video I'm going to share with you this simple project or simple page uh, using ReactJS in the front end and Spring Boot in the back end. So this is the form and this is the back end. Uh, so let me fill the form. For example, if I type just a character, there is a validation so the first name should be between 3 and 15 characters so I will type just my name and here the same thing uh, for last name I will type my last name here in the email we have email verification so it must contains at so if I type just at so uh, here we said length should be more than six characters so this might be a valid email and we have a description here so for example it's type test test and also we can upload the file for the file I made I made here the verification for uploading only PDF and docs files for example, if I plot this file, it's an mp3 file, open, it will say you, are, you have been selected an invalid file type, only PDF and docs are allowed. So I have to choose the uh, PDF file, let me choose this one, if I click submit, but before clicking submit, I will verify this, we have this folder, it's an empty folder. Mm, and we will get here in the back end uh, the data so I will type so I will click on submit here we have a notification sheet candidate has been stored let's move to the back end here we receive the data here is the data that we already typed and the file uploaded successfully the file size is uh, I guess 20 or 80 mega so let me refresh this folder as we as you see here is the data stored as a JSON. <coughs> so let me let move to the front end and explain to you how does it work. So here is the, the our app here I use it uh, react router so make sure to install the this one uh, I guess it's react uh yeah it's it's a uh, react uh, router dom so make sure to install this one by typing npm uh, space install space react router dom so if we if we go to this page localhost uh, in the port uh, three three thousand. So we will we will load this component. So our this is our component here. So let me explain to you. This is the form here. We have just a simple div elements. The this is the ID of the form on submit. We will execute this function and then we have a label and we have uh, a label again it's first name then an input for the first name then an input for last name then the input for email uh, also an input for description and we have a text area for the description and final one it's uh, no it's before the final one we have an input for the file and an input for submit a button it's uh, actually a button and you'll find here in the app that this is the the CSS that I used for this this page. You you will also find the front end and the back end source code in the description below. So this is the this is the the form. This is the HTML code for the form. Uh, for example, when we type uh, when we click on submit, we will. We will uh, execute this uh, function. It's uh, su on submit. So on submit, 
Where is it on submit? Sorry. This is it. So on submit, we will uh, verify first of all the email value if it if it match this variable. This is a regular expression. Uh, and also we will verify the, the file if it's empty we will load an alert say that please upload the file and then if everything is okay so we will uh, use the form data variable to send the data using Axios Axios I hope that I, <laughs> uh, I said it right it's Axios I hope so. So you need to install this Axios by typing npm space install Axios or Axios in your terminal. Then uh, by using form data, I will append the file. So this type it's a um, multiple part uh, multi part file. Then I will append this one first name then last name the email and then the description so i will with the http post and they will send the form data so in the back end he will uh, uh, expect this one f in the, the the body file name mm, sorry file name then if name and l name and email and uh, description uh, if it's everything goes right, so in the response, uh, I I sent uh, I meet the back end to send the uh, this string candidate stored. So in the front end, if we receive it candidate stored, we will uh, show an alert say that candidate has been stored. If uh, then uh, we will uh, refresh the the page. If not, we will uh, show an alert say that please try again. So this is, I think, all about the front end. Also, we have uh, window low, window load function. For example, when we go directly to do this page candidate, when we refresh, we will focus on this. Uh, input for example then we will uh, declare some functions and e event listener for uh, first name so we will validate the first name then we have an event for very for last name verification also email verification we will execute this function here is the function you can read the function and understand it. It's very simple. I will move to the back end to explain to you the, the, the back end. We have a candidate uh, model. So we have a uh, four variable, first name, last name, email, and the description. Uh, this is the main of uh, the back end. And we have the controller. So, oh, I declared here cross origin so we will uh, the back end will only accept uh, the data that is coming from this host name on this port 3000 that is uh, the front end port uh, and then we have object ma mapper so object mapper is uh, I used to hear object mapper for to store the data as a JSON uh what else uh, i just created a variable of, uh, of quantity type and there as i said here when i go to candidate page uh, sorry the front end will send the, the data to look lost uh, uh, i think 8080 slash candidate so it will accept the data from here then as i said here in the front end it is it will expect on body um, let me well, well uh, it will expect this file name and file, uh, if name l name email name and the description so uh, this is in the request parameters we have if name, in name, email description, and find name. Uh, 
file name it's a multi-part file name so i will just sort the, the data that i just got to in uh, using uh, the, the setters of the class candidate then i will uh, use object mapper to store the the data in uh, in a file uh, as a json so here i used the uh, here i created a file and the, the name of the file it's the email um, that we type dot json then here i just showed on logger the, the the data then here uh, i started the file that i just received uh, as in this folder and the name it's uh, the email again that here i did some concatenating so if the file is a doc so i will store it as a doc if the file type is a pdf so i will store it as a pdf and then close the the streams and send and send here to the front end as i said this uh, string it's http status uh, okay so i will send this candidate stored as I explained here if the front end received candidate stored it will show candidate has been stored again let me show you again uh, how does it work so yeah i forget to explain to you the router in routing in react.js as i said if i just type this url or uh, this path it will not show the page so i have to to go exactly to this page to to locate our page i will type for example test test then test or blah 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 etc let me just type submit it will say you must uh, the email must contains at so that come then submit please upload the file choose the file let me choose this one mp4 uh, i have been selected an invalid uh, file type okay all right so i will select this one uh, then click submit candidate has been stored okay let's move to this folder refresh this is our data I hope you liked the video, if you need more explanation, please uh, put your comments below and you will find uh, the project in my github, I will leave it to you in the description below. Please like the video and subscribe in my channel, thanks for your watching.